Good morning, good morning, good morning. And this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and we are going to be glad in it. Happy Tuesday to you. This is Pastor Danielle here, lead pastor here at Christian Church for All Nations. We are located at 14205 East 12 Mile here in the beautiful city of Warren, Michigan. And I want to thank you once again for joining in on our Tuesday morning devotional. Maybe it's evening where you're at, maybe it's afternoon, but it's morning here in the Great Mitten State. And I'm so glad that you've taken time out of your busy schedule to take time to, as we share, talk about the Word of God and how it applies to our everyday life. I'm going to go ahead and open up in a time of prayer. So as you know, as you have been on this, been here on this platform at any time, if you do have any prayer requests, if you have any prayer needs, please let us know in the comments below how we can pray for you. Or you can also send a message to the Facebook page, rest assured that we are going to unite our faith together and pray. Amen. And as the Lord is answering those prayer requests, let us know because we want to rejoice with you. So share, share, share those praise reports and those testimonies so we can tell and brag on what our Lord is doing and give some encouragement to others. Let's go before the Lord in prayer today. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you once again for this day. This day that you have made, this day that we are making a decision, that we are going to rejoice and that we are going to be glad in it. Lord, thank you for this opportunity that we can come and share for a few moments talking about your word and how it applies to our everyday life. So, Lord, we take this time to lift up the needs of our brothers and sisters that are tuning in. Lord, you know every situation. You know every detail. When we don't know all this, the behind-the-scenes stories, you do. So, Lord, we lift these things to you, and we release them back to you. We lift our hands off, and we lift our hands up to praise you. Thank you for this time. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. How are you doing on this day? Hope your day is starting off well or maybe it's ending, but whatever it is, I hope the day has been enjoyable for you. And today I just wanted to talk to you for just a few moments on the thought of the cliffhanger. Or you can look at it as the, as the maybe the season finale. You know, I am an avid reader. I love to read books. And one thing is when I do, one thing about reading, I've, read, I've been an avid reader since I've been a young girl. And so when I would read these books, they would be series, and there would be these series, and you would have to wait, it seems like, eternity for the next book to go out. And I would just literally stalk the bookstore, just waiting, like, is it the notification? Is the book out? And now with the social media, you know, you have all those details right at hand, and the author will give you a heads up as to when the next book is going to be out. And like I said, it seems like an eternity for that next book to arrive because you're reading the one story and then you end the first book. Maybe it's a trilogy and you read the first book and you're like, there's then there's that cliffhanger. Have you had that? You have the cliffhanger of a book that you're reading or maybe you're not an avid reader. Maybe your favorite TV show ends for the season and you hear the, you know, it's the season finale because they built it up and you know, and then it's their cliffhanger. It's like, oh my goodness, I have to wait to next season to find that what's going to happen out. And it seems like, again, just like me and waiting for the next book to come out and a series is the same thing as maybe you're watching your favorite TV show and the season finale comes and you just have to wait forever. And sometimes it feels like we, our life is in a perpetual cycle of the cliffhanger, of wondering what is going to happen next or what is going to happen in our next season. And sometimes we may have a glimpse of what's going to happen, but we really don't know all the details of what's going to happen. And so, time, so sometimes in our frustration, we try to sometimes take matters in our own hands and we try to kind of help the Lord out. Guess what? Who doesn't need helping? The Lord does not need our help. Okay. He doesn't need our help. He needs us to trust in him. And as I use the analogy of my, the books that I read and waiting for the next book in the series, you know, I get so, you know, antsy. I get like, just so just, I get frustrated at times because I'm excited because I'm in the middle of the series and I want to have, want to know what happens next now you know kind of like the the jingle on the tv commercial jj wentworth you know i don't know i want my money now and sometimes when we're in that cliffhanger so to say of the season of our life we just want to know what's happening now especially when things go chaotic has there things ever been chaotic for you i know in life things get chaotic when you're in the season it seems like you're in this never 
ending dry sparse season of like there's nothing going on and there's no growth but that looks back to what the word of god says and what we are to do the psalm talks about how we are to wait on the lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart wait i say on the lord so as I you know, reflect on this time, and again, we're all in various seasons of our life, and maybe you're in a, a summer scene where everything is flourishing around. Like right now, if you were to look at our neighborhood, and particularly my husband, he's, he's a master green thumb in the family. I don't have a green thumb. If you know me, I kill everything. So he has everything green, it's lush, it's, glor it's growing, it's flourishing. And maybe you are in a season like that. Everything's wonderful, everything's flourishing. Or maybe you're in that winter season, and you know, even though it's summertime, but maybe in the, in the, and and you know, right now you're in a season of winter where you're not seeing any growth, you're not seeing any fruit, and you're wondering what am I going to do to get out of the season? Well, first of all, don't try to do things on your own. We just read in Psalms to wait on the Lord and be encouraged, and as you wait and have good courage, it says He is going to strengthen your heart. So maybe you are in that dry season where you're you're not seeing with your natural eyes the growth. But even as we go into the season of winter, and here in Michigan, we actually have a true legit winter where it's cold and snow and icky. Even in that season, things are happening. And so even if you're in your winter season right now where you're not seeing the growth like you see right now all across um, the area because it's summertime and things are green and lush and beautiful, God is moving through every season of your life, even if you don't see it. Just because you don't see it does not mean that nothing's happening because there's something happens behind the scenes. Just as my authors, my favorite authors are writing the books behind the scenes and they will post on different social media sites where they're at in their journey. So we may not see in the natural, but in the spirit, rest assured, the Lord is working on your behalf, but you got to trust him. And the word of God also says in Psalms 37, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. So what are you eating on? Are you feeding on the faithfulness of God? Are you trusting what his word says? Are you trying to, are you saying, Lord, I surrender, I release that even in this season of my life, I'm going to release this thing to, I'm going to eat and feed upon your faithfulness. What you don't want to pull is, you don't want to pull a Sarah and Abraham and take matters in your hand. Read the story if you don't know the story because the Lord gave them a word and it was like one of those cliffhangers. It was like the next season in their life. They got a word. They're like, oh my gosh. And they got frustrated because what they were told was going to happen didn't happen fast enough in their mind's eye. So read the story if you don't know the story. But the same, we don't want to do that. We don't want to pull up Abraham and Sarah when we're at a season in our life or we're told X, Y, Z. We've been given this word from the Lord and we're just, we're excited for the word, but we're not seeing things come to pass. We have to stop with this drive through mentality because we go through a drive through we get frustrated and we just want things now, but things don't always work that way. It's about his timing, his season. God's timing is not our timing. We are, we're on a time schedule like, okay, I got to do this. I got to be here by this time. We got to do, we're, we, which is good to have a schedule. But we have to understand is that God's like, I got you covered. You're right here. He's got you in his mind's eye. He's got you in the forefront. But he's wondering, are you going to trust in the Lord and do good? Dwell in the land? Feed on his faithfulness? And it goes on to say, delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him, and do not fret because of the, him who prospers in his way, because of the, of the man who brings wicked shames to pass. So when we're saying trust in the Lord, committing yourself, when you commit yourself, we need to look at the, you know, the little deeper in that. When we're committing ourselves to the Lord, we're trusting him and that he's going to direct us for what's best for our life. And so what the best is, he's going to give you the best thing for your life. So he will bring the things to pass. So maybe you're in that cliffhanger season, or maybe you're just waiting for that to be continued, that infamous to be continued that sometimes you may see with your favorite show and you're thinking, oh my goodness, I just can't wait to see what happens. We should have that same excitement. And as we're waiting, keep on serving. 
as you're waiting, keep on praying, keep on declaring what thus says the Lord. So I just wanted to share that with you on this glorious Tuesday, that in your season, whatever the season may be, winter season, spring season, fall season, summer season, enjoy the journey and allow the Lord to take you through the process. Don't get ahead of the game and try to say, Lord, it's been too long. Don't tell the Lord he's taking too long. The Lord knows what he's doing. He's bringing things all together for you. And as he's doing that, you're being prepared to be placed in your next season. So be encouraged and rest in the Lord. Don't fret, commit, and feed upon him. Well, thank you so much for joining in today. And I look forward to seeing you all on tomorrow night for worship and the word at 7 p.m. Don't forget the chime, James, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Looking forward to seeing you on Sunday morning at 11. And also, Family and Friends Day is coming up on August the 13th. Pastor Anna Lee Dunn, who is the pastor emeritus of Bethesda Christian Church, is going to be our guest speaker. And I want you to be my special guest for that great day. There's going to be gifts for everyone, reception, all that good stuff, but you need to be there. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, help us to just be settled in the season that we are in. Help us not to move ahead of the where we're at and help us to continue to trust in you. Let us not go rogue and try to manipulate things or try to move things in our own doing, but saying, Lord, I trust you and I trust your process. I'm going to remain committed to you. I'm going to feed upon your good word. Lord, we just thank you for all these things. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye-bye.